Cześć, dzisiaj będzie epizod szósty i jak szybko czas leci. In other words, it is the sixth episode and it doesn't time fly, as we'd say in Polish. After all, we are playing the Polish Empire. Kasimir the third, I'm not exactly sure what his title is, but we'll find out once the next turn comes along. I think he's like Master Kasimir the third or something like that now. We are in the year 720 AD. We also have a bit of tourism. We'll be getting a bit more, hopefully, as time goes on. And we are going for the cultural victory. So that, of course, is that. If we go click over here. Now, this was confusing, but I'm figuring it out. We need to go ahead and, uh, I think, be 100% influential over everyone, or over seven sieves, um, to win a cultural victory. Now, I'm not exactly sure what would happen if one civilization gets destroyed, because there's eight different sieves. So do we need to be, do we need to make sure that no civilizations get destroyed or is it just like all of the civilizations that are left in the map? Hoping that's the case, not that we need seven and if there's one that's destroyed, that's it, game over. It shouldn't be like that though. Uh, but it's, we are 3.3% influential over Syria, well, Assyria. Morocco 1.1%, but if we can select different sides and we can have a look at say Morocco, and they're a lot more influential now over many guys. There's another civilization that seems to be really strong culturally. We haven't exactly found out who they are. We're in 1,842 culture. Venice is on 1,810. But Morocco, from our perspective, they're in 2,268. So they're beating us still. Definitely a bit of a problem. Our creativity abounds in this civilization. If you're attempting a culture victory, you may want to create a great work of writing. Generate more tourism for your civilization. Why, thank you. So we've got Emily Dickinson. We will go ahead and create a great work over in Warsaw. Because I could not stop for death, he kindly stopped for me. The carriage held but just ourselves and immortality. Isn't death oh so nice? So, that was a poem by the great writer, Emily Dickinson. So let's go ahead and check out what that's done to Warsaw. Well, we should... Alright, so they immediately went to the amphitheater. And we're getting four culture now. Or at least, no, sorry, four tourism. We're getting 39 culture a turn. I also need to start thinking about my money. Uh, we will be building hopefully some trade routes in a little while. I'll have to wait up and read all your comments. I'll be uploading about two episodes a day or so. So we'll have a look at how much you guys like me uploading at that pace. We also have a national epic, so that can have a great work. And then we are out of space, aren't we, over here? With all of that good stuff. Let's have a look at the citizen managements. They're all... Wor well, this guy isn't working on uh, a used tile. We don't have any... Bums just bumming about, which is okay. Another citizen in four turns. Might get someone else in the Riders Guild. Alright, and you're only allowed one great rider, it seems. Okay. Um, so, let's see. A great merchant. That's still one turn, and... Oh, okay. It's going to be pretty slow for us to go ahead and get someone. But let's have a close look at Krakow, which is going to have a Colosseum in 12 turns. will boost our happiness, as well as Warsaw. We've got... So, Nicholas August Otto, who is a... He is... What exactly is he? A great Polish engineer. Uh, he don't, can't produce any great works. He can only produce manufacturers, or actually when he's in the city, boost the production by a heck of a lot. So we'll come up over to, I don't know where exactly, maybe over here. Go have a look if we can uh, buy that, buy a tile, 80 gold, that's alright. I'd rather be sure that we get it and I'll place the manufacturer over there because it'll really help up us and up with production. So that's useful. What else are we doing over here? We've got a couple of workers doing absolutely nothing. Probably would be smart to connect Wads to Warsaw by road. Because we will be able to collect connect Krakow to Krakow to 
I guess, our trade network by ocean. Where are we? We should be able to do that. So come up over here and route to Warsaw. That's going to cost us a bit of gold, but once we build the trade route, it should help us out a lot. What exactly are we studying? Engineering, which will allow us to build bridges over rivers and allow us establishing an additional trade route. Someone's already built the Great Wall, though. So I think next turn it is. Still, an army seems like it's something that we should be focusing on. These guys can't upgrade just yet. Oh, you guys can. These crossbowmen. Might get them to upgrade. Now, I'm not going for a religion. Enrico Dandolo has completed Barabador. That definitely rolls off the tongue. Uh, but, yeah, there's one more religion. That can be found. It's 200 more faith is needed. So we need about 110 left. About 30 more turns. So I doubt, yeah, we're not really going to get it. Let's get this guy over here. Slowly but surely. These guys can upgrade. Costs 80 gold. Might as well do it though. They're increasing the XP. This guy needs to keep on coming up over here. These horses just keep on watching over. Have a look at what's happening. Let's go into the next turn. Wards is just about to grow. And we're about to get the Colosseum. Warsaw is also going to grow soon. Zurich seeks a great scientist. I'm going to have to wait a little bit. All right, so that really helped us out. Wards demands gems. They're going to have to wait, though. What are we going to be able to upgrade these warriors? I guess ironworking is next, so swordsman is what we need. And they're a classical era unit, aren't they? It's going to take a little while until we're able to get that. Let's close this. Get out of here. Choose a new production. Now, see, Warsaw is very far away from any attack, so I'm not really going to need a wall there. Probably wall in Krakow. Krakow. I always say Krakow. Excuse me, but I think we'll go for the caravansary. It won't really help us though. Land trade routes originating from this city have a 50% increase in range and produce an additional two gold when connecting to another sieve. Marrakesh is quite far away though. Maybe I could go ahead and try to build a national college by getting a couple of we'll have a Colosseum here in eight turns i'm gonna have to do something let's go with the caravansary because i don't think it's absolutely imperative for me to have a massive army yet because morocco doesn't seem to have one we don't get points for military though do we no Instrumental. Interesting. Morocco also doesn't seem to have a religion. Venice definitely does. They're actually very religious. Getting a lot of points from there. Let's close this. Your influence with Bratislava has decayed to the point where you're no longer friends. They're not giving us anything? Yeah, they're giving us... Or is that a different city-state? Bratislava. We're still friends with them. Unless I'm reading something wrong. It's nearly decayed. Key word there, nearly. Still a bit left to go. So once these guys come up here, we'll be able to get swordsmen. Once we unlock ironworking. Horses can't upgrade yet. Got composite crossbowmen. Hey. Okay. Oh, there we go. Another great rider. Why did we not have one when I checked before? It's an interesting question. Maybe it's because it was the turn immediately after we got him. Emily Dickinson? Who knows? But we should get another great rider pretty soon at six points a turn. I'm getting everyone pretty quickly, so I'm happy with that. Warsaw is going to be quite an important city. Go into the next turn. 
You can't move anymore. Hurry up and load everything up for me. Most, <laughs> the most illiterate people. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Goth, Gothi has completed his greatest work. The least of. I'm not really sure Gothi was through history, but I'm sure it was important. I guess I've sort of seen the name, but I don't even know how to pronounce it. Clearly, uh, the most disliterate people, though. We are one of the most disliterate. Not exactly the mostest, but actually fairly close, even though we're not focusing on science at all. Although it's really close between, yeah, second through to seventh. We're not really that far ahead of anyone. I'm really hoping the last people are Russia. That would be amazing. <laughs> and, and actually quite realistic. Russia these days is... Uh, Putin is definitely bringing Russia down. There's no question about it. It's, de it's definitely not too good to be a statist government or a society. More rather, let's go ahead and uh, let's see. A lighthouse. There we go. We've got the fish. Or it's. But I think the Colosseum will help us out. We'll also get a couple of happiness over here once this Colosseum is built. Okay. Colosseum costs way too much. I don't have the money for it. Okay, bringing this guy up here. How long does it take you to build a damned road? I guess they started off in wads though, didn't they? Oh god, what the hell is happening to my computer? It sounds like it is absolutely shiting itself. I think I know what it is. When I leave my Wi-Fi on and I have like an Ethernet connection plugged in as well, it acts really, really weirdly. Like it switches between the two and then that really stuffs around with my computer. Which then creates some uh, really funky sounds. Like it's uh, vomiting or something. And it lags up a lot as well. Which is no fun for anyone. We've got to go into the next turn and go up on that hill. Almost there. Now, Krakow will be able to build things a lot quicker. Maria the First, the Enlightened of Portugal. Sorry, I prefer to go it alone. I would love to see what happens between them. Morocco and Portugal. Yeah, we're not any longer friends. That's alright. Yes, we are Master Kasimi the Third of Poland. Come up over here. It's interesting how they're not telling me to build the manufacturing thing anymore over here. Oh, well, on that hill. Instead, they told us to go here on this grassland and over there, next to the river. Ah, oh, another... Oh, a Pantheon has been founded, so... That's them. We've already founded a Pantheon. That's not really a worry. It's definitely taking a little while before Morocco. After all, I guess they're not really focusing on it because we've already built a Pantheon ages ago. So, still a fair few turns until we can uh, get our own religion, but it's actually looking quite likely that we might get our own. We might just squeeze in there. Okay, nice. Six production. That really sped that up by a turn. You guys have also finished. Come up over here. Okay, and because we're growing so much and all, uh, we are losing a bit of happiness because of our population growing so quickly, etc. I do like a bit of happiness myself. A closer look. So, we have 2% influence over Morocco. We're most influential over Assyria. Let's have a close look at Morocco. 6.8. They're rising slowly. What about... We're also rising slowly. But this is interesting because here you can see... Ah, oh, right. You can... So this is a bit like cheating, sort of. But we can see 
what the other civilizations or who the other civilizations have discovered, can't we? I'm pretty sure. But it seems like there might even be a continent with two sieves by themselves. It's one sieve that's come around over here that I haven't noticed. Oh, Casablanca. I'm definitely going to have to start thinking about doing something to you. Because they're no doubt going to get a massive problem with Portugal. So we better start bringing up our army. Morocco has started worshipping a pantheon of gods. They have chosen the belief God of the open sky. So they get an extra culture from pastures. Someone's entered the medieval era. They're a little bit late. These guys keep on digging the road up. And a religion has been founded. That was the last one. You guys better watch out here. Ally yourselves with. They're allying with Bratislava now, Morocco. Definitely cutting my grass. Not cool at all. It is like the uh, medieval age of relationship advice. Let's go ahead and... Let's see. An aqueduct. Not really. 31 turns over here. One turn there. Hmm. Plus an extra maintenance as well. Extra gold. Might as well go with the aqueduct. Definitely want to speed this up. How many people do we have? We're going to be growing in three turns. Let's focus on food. Not really going to cut down anything, is it? No. But we're going to get some extra happiness very shortly. We'll see what we'll be able to build in Krakow. Maybe great work or two or three. We'll I think has a class has been built. We'll find out shortly. Heroic Epic. I'm pretty sure that's been built. We'll need a barracks in all cities to build that though. And my mark friend decided to die, but we're back. With very little noticeable changes. Seems like they used a great person over here on this tile. Marrakesh, though we are doing quite well. We're getting one extra culture from happiness. Go ahead and choose something in Krakow. Something that will really help us out. Um, I don't really want a shrine because religion's not important. Granary. Maybe. Circus Maximus. Colosseum count still required is one. Okay. Let's go ahead and go with a bunch of walls. Because we'll definitely need them over here. Well, they've got a lot of culture over there. It's like they're also going for a culture victory or something. Lots of improved cultural tile tiles. Let's have a closer look at all of this. The series got nothing on us. We have a trade route with between sieves. We have a trade route. I guess they're trading with us. Okay. And adjust, adjusted tourism outputs. We're outputting a lot more tourism to Assyria. Culture victory. We can see who's got more tourism points. We're both playing. Public opinion doesn't seem the best. And current overall happiness level. Unhappiness. Okay. Doesn't really tell us all that much, though, does it? It just sorts him by, I guess, he's got the highest happiness. Not that bad. If we're coming third, with only two happiness. We're still trading here, very casually. These guys keep on building up roads. This should come up shortly, hopefully. And ironworking is just about studied as well. Morocco, damn. Them and their wonders. 
We're losing grasp on Valletta now. We ever had a grasp on Valletta? Do not wait to strike till the iron is hot, but make it hot by striking. Beautiful. So now we're going to be able to upgrade our warriors to swordsmen, which is still classical units, classical age units. Now we're going for metal casting. Hmm. Well, this has already been built, so I don't really want theology. I'll go for guilds this time. I'd love more culture, although we're going to have to wait up for it. And well, not more culture, but more tourism. So we'll need a great rider soon. Everyone else is taking a little while. Still focusing up on production. How about we focus on food, though? We'll get a couple more citizens a bit quicker. Because the aqueduct ain't that necessary. There's that road. It's all over here. Okay, I'm quite happy with the way things are going. Get over to the next turn. Walls are coming up. Actually, what I'd like to just check up on is let's go over to the Assyrian capital once we can. Let's just make them go on alerts. Oh, we get pikemen. The city-state of Valletta has given you a new unit. That's where we've gotten them from. Very nice of Valletta because they are a militaristic city-state. That's pretty sweet. Uh, but let's just go over to the Assyrian capital, Assur. Okay, you're neutral with us. I oh, really, you're not going to be letting me over here. We have to go through all these clouds. Yeah, at least we can see how sort of big the map is. But then, okay. So, if I go ahead and uh, build something like let's go wads, and I focus on production, that's not really going to change much, is it? Go on default. If I go purchase now. Does the Colosseum reduce in price? No, it does not. Okay. I don't really want to wait the amount of turns that we've got to wait. Hmm. Let's go back and... Turn that off. There we go. We've assigned someone there. It's still 12 turns, though. It's way too long for me. But it'll have to do, though, won't it? Go ahead and go into the next turn. Things are coming on along nicely, though. We've still got, what, 350 more turns until the time limit is over, so... Isn't it, doesn't it stop at 500 or so? Actually go to victory progress. 343 turns remaining. Diplomatic signs victory. Cultural victory. Okay, so this is what we are focusing on, of course. We've got to be much more influential over Morocco. I guess I've got a higher culture output, of course, which is their defense, whereas tourism is your attack. So either we need to... If I captured Marrakesh, that'd really put a dent in how much culture they'd be outputting. Something I'd think about. Let's just get these guys ready for something. Let's get ready for warfare. Go ahead and read your comments if you guys want me to start a war yet. I don't think we should just yet. Probably a robot would be even a better and smarter thing to attack. I think I'll go with a robot. Keep on building like, um, yeah, artillery and all of that stuff in Warsaw and Wads, and then we'll send them over to Marrakesh. 
well destroyed Drabat. So, don't want any walls really. Ord might another catapult. Alright, one. Don't even have one. It's got to be set up prior to firing. That's the issue with it. We only need one more Colosseum ten times to build it. Let's go ahead and get some walls here then. Because we'll need them later on. Well, you guys come up on alert. These guys, I think they're still building, aren't they? already got a quarry on that marble. I think we'll have to go ahead and improve the sheep. Got walls up here. Definitely doesn't seem like they've got too much of a military. All I keep on seeing are like one swordsman and one pikeman and that's it. We can adopt a policy that was pretty quick. And we've established a trade route. Very nice. Go ahead and adopt a policy now. Garrison units. I don't want I definitely don't need extra unhappiness. So we're not gonna go for that. I got honor. So 15% production when training melee or melee units and a great general appears outside the capital. Gate. Greater generals that earns 25% faster. Each city with a garrison or garrison increases local city happiness by one and culture by two. I think I'll go down that route. After all, I better get ready for warfare. This choice becomes available when you build your third factory or enter the modern era. Still a while until then. Go and explore a little bit. It's here. Yeah, it doesn't really have much going on here. I just come back. These guys to come back as well. We don't want to be starting any fights. Not yet, anyway. So we can build something over here. Probably a library. Because this city is growing, and we, of course, wouldn't mind a bit more science. So I can speed up how fast we get all of this good stuff. Okay, so you're really recommending me to build farms. So I think I'll have to build a farm, won't I? You're telling me to build a farm. I'll go build one. Now I'm assuming that these caravans will also be able to... Your declaration of friendship has expired with Morocco. We still should be besties though, of course. Uh, but our caravan should be able to move a lot faster. Back and forth. The letter is under attack. Who exactly is attacking them? I'd love to know. You come back over here. Yeah, so we've got four military units. That's a nice amount. So we'll 36 defense. I guess they must have. Yeah, they've got a wall around here now. Go on alert. We go ahead and go on alert as well. Eight more turns until the Colosseum. Getting walls in Warsaw. A library in Krakow. I'm not, not really sure what I'm going to be building in Warsaw then. In two turns. There's not really much else for us to build apart from maybe a catapult. Probably something that I'll get. Go ahead and get a pasture over here. Okay. All our military is resting over on this side because that's the only side where real warfare is going to happen. How far away are we from a new age? Alright, quite far. Let's see. We definitely don't want Forbidden Palace. The Leaning Tower of Pisa. 25% generation of great people in all cities. Let's go down that route. 
We need to go get guilds first, of course. And I'll take everything that comes along. It seemed useful. Let's head over into the next turn. There's still people entering the medieval era. Let's work together. So we're still going to be besties. That's good. And the important is growing Casablanca though. Uh, but I think after the declaration of friendship, I think we'll go kill him after that. We don't want to backstab him or anything while we've got the declaration of friendship going on. But I think we will have to attack him after it. Really show him his boss around here. Go get a catapult ready. Another four turns. And I have a library, which will help us out greatly uh, with science. I actually wouldn't mind putting a ship over here, although I'm not going to be able to sail through the Antarctic pretty much. The merchants and the traders have come. Their profit. The Artists Guild allows you to generate great artists. Why are you telling me this for? The city of Warsaw wants furs. All right. The Artists Guild allows you to generate artists. Ah, okay, it's because. Okay. So if I go to change production, artist skilled. And that's a, it goes in wonder, but it'll be just like a specialist building, wouldn't it? Like the writer's guild, which isn't really that special. Not a world wonder. We can also get the East India Company. That'll give us a bit of gold. We we'll build a lot more wonders now. But I'll go with the artist guild first off. So that's going to be pretty important. Let's see where we'll play. What would be the best place to put it? Nine turns over here. I think I'd rather it in Warsaw, really. Let's just keep... Oh, shit. Sure. Yeah, well, we've already gone so far for the catapult. I would use it up a couple of turns, so we might as well finish what we started. There, we're about to get the Colosseum, so also the building that requires Colosseums in all cities will be done. Or at least the requirements will be filled. Let's go ahead and build up Stoneworks. Stoneworks seems nice. Probably a market, actually, would help us out the most. That'll give us a bit of gold. I can't complain about that. But we will have to end the turn. Or end the episode, more rather. We're doing really well, I'd say. Let's have a closer look at how we're doing it diplomatically. We're coming third. This guy's winning at 125 wonders. Of 125 from wonders. He's definitely got a lot of wonders. Morocco. But things will start changing, no doubt. Oh, it's pushed back that territory over there. But until next time, guys, we'll be back with some more Civilization V, A Brave New World, very shortly.